hello, 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 hello there. Uh, it's been a while since I have streamed this way as a purple cat. Um, but I finally got my OBS working again. And uh, I got this going on Restream. So that means that I'm a purple cat on YouTube as well. So we're going to start today with... Uh, a traffic box template because let's see if I can bring this over um, if you see this there's the city of Brighton um, is having a traffic box mural project uh, here in Colorado and so um, the application date has to be by the 11th of next month so I am applying kind of late compared to some other people um, I meet all the requirements, deadlines, stuff like that. Uh, and yeah, so it, it's just, it's just like a, a, you know, fun little thing. And so we're going to do this. I got cat cam going. Let's see. There's a better shot of cat cam. He looks very comfortable. And uh, I realized that I don't have anything I'm listening to right now. So let's change that. Go for Pluto. Let's see. Uh... People's Court. All right. There we go. You know what? I don't like using this brush. We're going to delete this whole layer. I am going to use a Rasta layer because it's a little cleaner for the submission. Um, I will make vector later on.
No, thank you. I'll stick with my people's court. has to think for a second. Let me finish this first and then I'll put it over on the other side.
Okay. Let me turn this off. Because YouTube has, like, really strict guidelines, and I don't... I realize, like, that's a lot of copyrighted material, and I don't want to get in trouble. So, I'll turn that off. I'll do this. Oops. So, this one is going to be like that. We will fill that in. This one is, I have to zoom in to get like smooth lines. this I gotta wait for it to save. Come on, save. Just gotta think about it for a second. It's kind of a big file. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, I didn't close it. 
try and fill in everything because I didn't close it. <sighs> All right, give it a second. Give it a second. It's thinking. I'm going to undo what it just did, but it's thinking. It's trying. Come on. Come on. Can I escape out of this? No. It's trying to fill in everything. Come on. Come on. You can do this. I believe in you, computer. You can do this so I can undo it. <laughs> Undo. There we go. Okay. Let's try this again. Now, let's do this. It should only be that little area. Yep. Close that. Do this. Fill that in. Okay, we're going to do this. this and do this. Oh, it's going to do it again. Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> oh, I should be doing much better at this, but um, instead Hi, Bucky. I didn't hear you. I didn't see you on uh, 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 YouTube there. Nice to see you. Yes, I am streaming um, art, and I accidentally told my computer to fill in half the page with black. So it's thinking about it. So we can talk for a second. Let's see, 1641. Oh, no, you were talking to me nine minutes ago, and I didn't even see you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, hi, Asta Martin. Yeah, I have cat cam. I have cat cam. Uh, this is Archimedes hanging out with us today. And uh, I am a purple cat as well. And uh, I told my computer to fill in too much black. So it's thinking about it. It's trying to fill it in real quick. Um, what I'm working on is a local city, uh, the city of Brighton, undo. Um, the city of Brighton is, uh, having an electrical box contest, uh, where your art ends up on an electrical box. And so, uh, I thought it was a little bit different than it was. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Undo. 
Come on. Undo. There we go. Okay. So I need to close it up on this side because I didn't close it up on that side. That's why I tried to fill in everything. And then this one should close up too. There we go. Uh, Amberoni Bamberoni. Yeah, uh, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. So, they have, like, really strict rules. They don't want anything political. They don't want anything that's going to offend anybody. Nothing that's, you know, uh, appropriating a culture. Nothing that is going to demean um, somebody, you know, who, who has died and, and all this stuff. So I just thought that I was going to do, uh, abstracts and that's what I'm, I'm submitting. So, um, what I'm doing right now is I'm just, uh, I'm drawing my first one. You can submit up to three drawings. And so, uh, this, I have this like sketchbook of like, abstract art that I kind of doodle in at night uh, get my mind off things and um, you know it's meditative and stuff and I'm creating something with my hands um, and so uh, these are inspired by some of those doodles oh hi Dale yeah, that's, that's Archie, all right. And, uh, yeah, I've seen um, my uh, Ink Black projects. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we're just doing something really abstract today for this contest. And so um, submission it has to be by the 11th of April. And so I want to make sure that I'm you know, going to submit something that will at least catch their eye. You know, even if they don't pick it, maybe they'll, they'll like go, whoa, you know, that's, that's kind of neat. Um, well, yeah, I've seen your ink block projects. Uh, uh, Dale said, I, I thought of saying that, but didn't. And then great minds. <laughs> yes, he is Archimedes. Yeah, he's a he's a good boy. As you can see right now, he he knows we're talking about him, so he's like, oh, I'm gonna stretch and be all cute. And uh, yeah, in fact, ooh, I I made this. So this is the full cat cam image. If you guys want to check out uh, Archimedes, you know this is me petting him. So. So yeah, so he he's uh, he's a good boy. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna mock it in a small 3D paper model. They have this template that they provided, and so what I did is uh, I I basically just put the template down as as you know in its own folder and stuff. Of this is the template, so I kind of know what I'm drawing over, and. Uh, I added an inch over to this side that I'm going to remove, uh, that I actually can remove right now, that matches this side over here. And that way it, uh, it works. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to go uh, change canvas size. Um, we want it from there. And then... 145 again. And so that removes that one inch. As soon as my computer thinks about it for a second. <laughs> Come on. Okay, there we go. All right, and then I don't need this one anymore. And here we are. Now we're back to doing abstract lines. So this is as far as I've gotten. So it's kind of 
bulbous on this side and then it's going to be smooth on that side and then I'm going to have kind of a space something in the middle um, I haven't decided yet yeah it, it is kind of like fingerprints um, the original if I use my cat cam as as a a uh, thing here let me see if I can find the original this is the original and so you can see that's kind of what I'm going for which is almost like a, a topographical thing and then I have other pages marked in here for other designs but this is this is the one I'm doing right now is this abstract kind of loopy one And so, how are you guys today? I, uh, I need to be able to comment every time I get, uh, you know, messages from people and stuff. And right now, I only have dings from um, uh, Twitch. I don't have dings from YouTube or... Facebook or any of the other outlets, so I have to, I have to fix that somehow. I have to research it, see if I can get dings. So, um, you're okay, just okay. What about you, Dale? How are you doing? Let's see. Yeah, I was listening to um, People's Court earlier, and then I realized. Wait a second. I'm also streaming out to YouTube and they have really strict guidelines and I don't want to violate them. So I stopped streaming that. So now we're we're having a conversation. It's okay. It works. Okay. I'm going to stop that right there. Cuz that is one whole side that's just lines already. And then, um, I want to have, like, something weird in the center. All right. And so we'll just kind of fill in the shape a little. Uh, making a grocery list for lasagna tomorrow. Uh, instant pot lasagna. We can put on our own Judge Judy. Judge Judy roleplay server. Going to do the show with Chuckster tomorrow. Oh, good. Good for you. Yeah, um, that's right, because Chuck's back. He He's back from his trip of visiting his family and, you know, making sure that, like, England is still together without him, you know, that it's, like, running without him. Yeah, I'm sure he, like, brought home some amazing cheese or something. You know, he's like, oh, man, this is, this is the only place I can get cheese. <laughs> okay. So now I got to make it work between this right shape and this left shape. Uh, may go to the Cartoon Art Museum Sunday to see a talk by this cartoonist. What's her name? Um, I don't know. I don't know what her name is. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to give ourselves some... some lines up here to work with. Go like that. And go like that. Yeah, 
Dale, I didn't get the puppeteering gig, so no, uh, no gorilla suit for me. Six-month-old account Bobsberger44 is suing four-year-old account Jack in the Box Lover 2020 for damages to their Fortnite character, whom will never recover after losing a match. Huh. It's funny. Yeah, we're going to make this one kind of thin. So this is the kind of stuff I've been drawing lately. Is this this abstract stuff? I got to jump back into Captain T. I'm I'm distracting myself and procrastinating and I I can't do that. I need to actually work on it. Let's see. So we'll do this. Uh, the cartoonist is Leah Seidman. Or Seidman. Uh, all rise for the honorable Twitch Judge Amber. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I was really judgy the other day. I, I admit it. Um, we had an altercation in the grocery store with someone who was covered in tattoos, including their face, and um, had four babies in tow and was pregnant with one more, and she was, like, mad over bread. Like, yeah, she had her guy come out of the back because he worked there to, you know, want to fight Ian. <laughs> You know, like we had like this whole thing happen. Yeah, <laughs> I got really judgy. I admit it. Uh, wait, she had tattoos all over her face. Yeah, she had tattoos, and he had tattoos all over their faces. Um, I did not see any tattoos on the kids. Um, you learned that procrastination from me. You know what helps me? I work on it a little every day and send you a screen cap. That's true. I should do that. I should start. You know. Sending you a screen cap and going, look, I did this thing, but, uh, I don't know. Like I've been doing, um, here, let's do this. Let's go like this and then, yeah. Yeah. So there, the lines are finally connected. Okay. And then we'll do this. Yeah, and, and so, yeah, they had tattoos all over them. Um, I have tattoos. Like, I don't care if you have tattoos. Just know that, like, when you do, it makes you really easy to describe to the manager of the store uh, that, like, you were threatened by them. And stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry about the puppet gig. Did you at least get to see how good the gorilla suit was? No, I didn't. Um, I did not even get to go to the venue. Uh, we... Uh, we tried out in some, you know, nondescript building kind of downtown a little bit that it, it's like they rented the space and, uh, yeah, it was, it was a good audition. I put my all into it. I was really pouty yesterday, but Ian pointed out that, um, the people I was up against are like Tony award quality actors, like when uh broadway shows come through and they fill spots with local actors these are like the local actors that do it and so i was up against like people who do vocal exercises every day and stuff <laughs> so uh, i think i did pretty good like even making it to the audition um i picked up a gonzo puppet at the flea market the other day Ooh, good for you i wonder how much money is in the suit i don't know um they have two suits i know that and they have had gorillas going back to the 70s when Casa Bonita opened. And so, um, yeah. Uh, it was, you know, it was, uh, it was fun. It was fun to audition. I had my pouty day. I feel better now. You know, I've lost five pounds since going back to the gym. Um, from all the weight I gained back when uh, I stopped going for a bit. And so I'm back on my road. Back from the start. 
Uh, dude, there's a whole puppet Muppet building and performing underground. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there, uh, there's a couple of puppet shops here in Denver, but, um, I just haven't gotten in with them yet. I don't know. Maybe I, uh, maybe I said the wrong thing or, or the other people were just amazing and, you know, there's no way I could compete. You know, if this gets rejected, I'll feel, I'll feel pouty as well. But we'll see. And then let's do let's do this. We'll make this a little thicker right here. And we'll just have that sweep like that. Just a hint thicker right there. And then what we'll do is we'll have these lines come this way. Uh, be honest. Uh, did you have the altercation with the jugglers that same day? Uh, no, I didn't. No, I did not have the altercation with the jugglers the same day. No, um, I had the altercation with the jugglers, uh, gosh, yesterday. And then um, the audition um, was, like, I found out that I didn't get it yesterday, but, uh, the audition was over a month ago. They're just kind of, they have two people working in their HR department, so there's just nobody, you know, like, they said that, yeah, it's gonna take a while, and I went, okay, I'll, I'll wait, and I waited, and at least they let me know. You know, at least they they have the courtesy to do that, and I appreciate that. You know, and, and the thing is, is you never know if there's going to be future auditions, and they might call me back. I don't think they will. I have no faith in myself, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Come on. I'm still your hero. And then what we'll do is we'll have this go like that. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm Googling images of the Casa Bonita gorilla. It is better than El Cheapo Amazon gorilla suits, but it is below the quality of a Don Post suit and definitely below that of Bob Burns Tracy. Uh, hey, for what it's worth, I bet that Casa Bonita gorilla suit isn't as cool as the showbiz pizza gorilla. <laughs> yeah, I'm at the point where I either have to build a suit or have one made for me. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, you're going to have to find quite the suit builder to, to build the suit up to your specifications. Cause I know you have very specific gorilla specifications. You want the feet, right? You want the hands, right? You want the face, right? You want the fur, right? Let's see, we'll do this. Yeah, I guess we'll just have like a little ink plop or something there. And then uh, zooming out, this is where we're at with the design. So it's getting there. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's finish up this little area first, and then I'll I'll work on it. So we'll do this. 
Yeah, Cascapodit is an interesting place. Um, I guess the original owners wanted to make it like a little Disneyland here in Colorado. And, you know, it's always been very popular with families and kids. And, uh, you know, you're paying for the experience to go there. And so uh, I was kind of excited to be part of that. But it's okay. You know, I'm sure the people that they hired are going to be amazing. And uh, I wish them all the best. Uh, you want total planet of the apes -ness. <laughs> Or shoot you in Colorado. No wonder you're talking about Caspanita. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I, uh, I, I auditioned to, to wear gorilla suits and operate puppets there. And uh, it involved crawling on the floor. It was quite the audition. I had fun. Yeah, um, I, I uh, improved, I met people, you know, I acted. It was good. But yeah, I, I was like, I was all pouty because I was looking forward to it. And Ian's like, you can't be mad at yourself because this is the talent that you're up against, you know. And yeah, like people doing vocal exercises in every morning you know that's not me I I uh, my my strength is drawing and maybe I should just stick with that let's see uh, on Facebook you want to join the ape suit cinema Facebook group but you got to be serious about ape suiting the Hollywood gorilla men website is a great resource Whispered your interest in being a gorilla uh, is not a sentence I expected uh, you to say today, or to say today. Yeah, um, uh, I think it was, what, like Mad Magazine or something? Had, like, National Gorilla Suit Day. Okay, let's see. Where I had some of the um, fill lines, there's just like these little artifacts left over. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Where are we going to go now that we've done that? Um, let's turn this over. And let's do... I'll do that. It kind of looks like a dinosaur. Go a little thick with it. And then... Let's go thinner and do detail. Let's see. Uh, cartoonists eventually discover mad cartoonist Don Martin's epic classic story, National Gorilla Suit Day. I want a gorilla suit ever since. I am also a 70s kid, so I was totally into Planet of the Apes. It is available anywhere, or do I have to have a copy? Um... I think you can find it online. I'm not sure. Oh, there you go. Okay, we're gonna go like this. And like this.
this one thicker. Fill in that space a little bit. My uh, white spaces are varying in, in length and stuff like that, but um, I'm trying to make them somewhat consistent compared to the black spaces. Uh, that tracks, though, also I love Planet of the Apes, even the Tim Burton one, especially the makeup in the Tim Burton one. Oh, the makeup was amazing. Yeah, uh, you know, Tim Roth um, really embraced the animal within him. And then uh, Paul Giamatti was also in that movie. Yeah. I liked it. Um, up until the end, and then it's like Ape Lincoln, and I thought that was kind of silly. I haven't seen the ones with Caesar, the monkey you know with like rise of the planet of the apes and stuff i haven't seen any uh of those let's see uh that felt like it was trying to be deep and just came off racist ape lincoln yeah well, it, the thing is, is like the first Planet of the Apes, and I'm sure I'm not giving anything away, is, you know, they go to the Forbidden Zone and they find artifacts of humanity. They find the Statue of Liberty, right? And it's proof that humans lived here once before. But it's, it's on this beach, you know, it's, it's uh, covered in sand. It's been eons since humans were on this planet. And, um, you know, and the apes are just keeping that from their people that, you know, they weren't first. And, uh, when you replace that with ape Lincoln, it implies that the apes had the same history as humanity, which, you know, like they would have an ape Lincoln. So they would have like a civil war in an ape America over slavery and stuff like it's just it doesn't make sense it's just it was it was bad writing um the mad cartoonist would license the mad name and produce paperbacks of original cartoons for kids to buy national gorilla suit day is a story in a paperback named don martin bounces back hmm i didn't know that that they would just let them do that i'm sure i'm sure you have like some sergio ones you know, the maestro. I'm gonna go like this. Ooh, very tight in there. Okay, we will do that to kind of buy us some room. And then same thing with this. Gonna take a look at the story real quick. While uh, related ape makeup is not gorilla suiting, ape makeup, Bigfoot suits, Chewbacca suits are all related and respect by gorilla suiters, but gorilla suiting is the source. Huh. So here's my question Are gorilla suit people furries? You know, like if they started it. It is embracing your animal side, I suppose. Let's do this. Go really small in there. Oops. Yeah, let's do this really small.
don't know. They'll either love this or they'll hate this. And I'm not going to submit it in black and white. I'm going to I'm going to play with some colors. Uh, yeah, I learned that from Sergio. They paid Bill Games for the rights. Video games killed the paperback. I like video games. I play video games. And I also read stuff. You know? They still sell stuff in paperback. Especially if you don't mind waiting a little while for a new author's book. It's still a viable option. I don't know if it's dead, but it's certainly maimed and injured. Uh, furries and mascots are remotely related, but traditionally the gorilla suitor gets the pretty girl. Hmm. I don't know. You're going to have to cite your source on that. Let's see. Okay, so we got this. All right. This is as far as I've gotten so far. Um, I guess I can start in the center and work my way out from there. do that do this and then that one I will thicken up so I have a nice thin line in there to just kind of add some depth one of my favorite uh, prawn websites years ago was Naked Girls in Gorilla Suits. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how that works. Let's see. Uh, video games cost 80s kids to spend their allowances on video games, not mad paperbacks. I don't know. I still bought mad. I, I bought mad and uh, cracked magazines with my money. Um, last time on Philo, we were talking about all the mad magazines and cracks that are stacked down in... Uh, Mexico in Cuatro's Casas at the place that used to be my dad's. Okay. Go. Another great day to do art. Oh, hi, Tiger Koo. How you doing? Yeah, um, Saturdays I've been consistently doing this, like, uh, collaborative comic book where, you know, people basically tell me what to draw for the characters to do, and I do it. And, uh, I'd love it if you guys would come by. Um, it's tomorrow. Um, it is going to be uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I just read the story. Maybe I'm thinking too deeply about it, but I got shades of blackface from it. Unfortunately, wording, I'm sorry. Uh, there are two gorilla cliches. The old carnival show where a mad scientist turns a pretty girl and the gorilla breaks out of the cage and chases the audience out of the show. It is featured in the Bond flicks Diamonds Are Forever. Hmm. You know, I don't know. I haven't read the story, so I wouldn't know about, uh, you know, the, any kind of, like, political commentary. Let's 
do that. And then what we're going to do is thicken these lines in the middle. this. Uh, the other cliche is like King Kong Gorilla captures and runs off with the pretty girl. Gorillas were in lots of monster movies and comedies and TV shows. I don't mean in an offense way. I just didn't know if it, if I was reading too deeply into it. I'm no student of Gorilla Suitology. Well, I mean, there's, there's probably reasons for that. <laughs> You know, it's kind of like me. I got a degree in comic books, right? And <laughs> it hasn't really helped me. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Let's do a little thicker deck for that one. Yeah. There we go. Okay. I've got to separate that line just a little bit. Uh, thing is, girl suiting is a cult religion like furries, but very different. It is more a movie and TV girl worship thing. I guess it would be like, <gasps> a gorilla! <laughs> you gotta share it with the group. I saw a gorilla! Has anyone seen this old movie that was being riffed on riff tracks? It has a gorilla in it! <laughs> Uh, is it like you get to be an animal? Is that the idea? Let's see. Um, you should get a gorilla suit. There is relatively inexpensive, 100 to $300 US uh, suits on Amazon. Yes, but none of those suits meet your high expectations of gorilla suiting. You know, you're the one that's like, I'm going to have to get someone to make it, or I'm going to have to make it myself. <laughs> no thanks, I'm too busy appreciating my human suit. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I think it, it's fun to wear a mascot costume and uh, have your face covered and kind of be someone else. I think there's charm in that and I don't know I've, I've done it before I've been paid to do it let's see. okay let's do this let's finish this little section we'll do this and like that okay Now I gotta do this little bit. Let's see. Okay. Let's go like this. And it's gonna meet up like that. And then we're gonna go like this. And meet up like that. Okay, this one seems like it needs some thickness, so we're going to round that out. I had a Batman mask one time, latex. I got so agitated by latex, I don't think I uh, could ever be like, I don't know, Lon Chaney. Um, latex takes some getting used to. Uh, they have something now that's a breathable foam latex. So when it sits on your face, uh, it doesn't prevent, you know, it doesn't collect your sweat underneath and uh, your skin can breathe. 
and so it's really comfortable to wear. Um, they make some masks out of it. Like I used to have a skull mask um, that was like it had the skull and everything made out of this latex, and it had a uh, a chin piece that was separate, and it was on kind of like a, a stretchable fabric hoodie. And so when you talk, the chin would move. And um, when you would like, you know, move your eyes and stuff, the, the foam was flexible enough that it'd move with you. So you could even get kind of expressions out of this face, even though it was a skeleton face, it was a skull. Let's do that. And that. And then let's do this. Let's zoom in. Let's take our time with this little area. There we go. So we'll do this. That? Uh, no, for boomers and Gen X who grew up in the 40s, 50s, and 60s TV reruns, you think Gorilla is just appearing out of nowhere is cool. It's a traditional thing. I, I would, in the Christmas and Easter seasons, put on the suit and hand out presents to my store staff as the X-Men or Easter Gorilla. Now, I uh, usually just run around in my suit on National Gorilla Suit Day uh, or on Halloween. Adults sometimes get it. Kids love it. Sometimes people just think you are a weirdo. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Um, I did do one time a whole burnt face makeup covered my hair in a bald cap, my eyebrows with tape. And covered latex over in my face to look like a burnt skin lesion. Ooh, that sounds awesome. I went to try something like that again recently for Halloween and it didn't work so well. Mm. Yeah, um, I went as a mime with a knife in my chest once. It was a Halloween costume I had. And so I had uh, bought this cheap knife at um, Goodwill. You know, it didn't matter if it was sharp or anything. And then my dad helped me cut the blade and we had a piece of foam that then we stuck it into that laid on my chest underneath my shirt. So the knife was like sticking out of my chest. And, uh, you know, I had like a little blood thing that I could pump and blood would come out of my chest. Uh, I'll find the picture and send it to you. Okay, awesome. Yeah, post it on your Instagram for Throwback Thursday. Hey, look at this picture. At Art Glitch. Thank you. This is what I was talking about. Okay. All right. I got to turn on a light because it's starting to get dark. Here we go. Okay. Now I have this last little section and then we're gonna start playing with color. But this is what I've done so far. And then this, this wraps around. So uh, this side and this side actually wrap. And um, you know, it, it should look cool I, I should hope so. Yeah. Okay, let's go in here. Do this. Okay. 
do this. Yeah. I'm so close to finishing this first design. I thought it would have taken me longer. But then again, I'm kind of doing it a little large. I'm, I'm not like going around making it like beautiful smooth. I'll do that if they pick it and they want a vectorized version. Then I'll just take it into Illustrator and retrace it. Let's see, it will have this go this way. This is going to go this way. This way. Oh my. All right, now I have to make a decision here. Do I want to thicken these lines? Do I want to just have one thick line? That would be easy if I did that. So we'll thicken this line a little bit. And then we'll have this come out very thick like that and then we'll have this like this let's see I think I'm just going to have that kind of drop off like that. And then that goes like this. Do, do, do. Ah, Aston Martin, ever see trading places with Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy? Great gorilla suiting at the end. On YouTube, look for the Ghostbusters, a 70s Saturday morning live action kids show with Larry Storch and Forrest Tucker with F Troop. Bob Burns and his wife built this awesome suit years ago when the legend Rick Baker helped modify it into Tracy the Gorilla. Let's see, let's do this. Oh, I'm so close to finishing. So close to finishing. I guess I can do that. And then this can be just be like that. And I guess we'll have to 
smooth that out a little bit. There we go. All right. I might do double gradients on this. You know, we'll see. Uh, gotta go to the grocery store. Hugs, Amber. We'll send you a pic later tonight. Good. Yes. Uh, Dale's been drawing comics. He's been drawing comics. He's been doing it. I'm so proud. Uh, oh, you send it on Insta. Okay. I'll, I'll check it out when I'm uh, off. But right now I'm not going to check it out because I want to get this finished. The deadline for this is the 11th. And even though it's the 20th, so I have some time, I still want to give myself time to proofread and, you know, make sure that when I send in the application, I'm not like sound like an idiot. Yeah, let's see. go let's do this there we go I think I think we're just at the point where I'm just gonna do this right there Um, I guess I could do one line in there. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, nice to meet you. Cheers. Yes. Yes, I like friendly people. They're nice and friendly. Yeah, uh, Dale and I met through a fellow cartoonist friend named Chuck w uh, Weldon, who is a, uh, uh, you know, he's like awesome. He, he draws so much. And um, he had this podcast that like I joined and Dale was one of the other hosts of and uh you know Dale left the podcast because of one of the other dudes uh not Chuck and I ended up leaving the podcast because it's the same dude and so now instead of doing the podcast I'm just kind of streaming on my own let's see And then let's fill in all these. Do, do, do. All right. So I got a little bit left here. Um, let's see, where do I want to go with this? We're going to go this way. 
We're going to go this way. Just kind of fill that one in because it's so thin anyway. This way. And again, fill that one in because it's so... Okay, let me clean this up a little bit. There you go. gonna do this and we're gonna go wide 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 there we go and then that gives me just this last little bit to fill in and so we're uh, I think I'm just gonna do it like really thin you know it's the last little bit this first okay we'll have it smooth there Go a little thicker on this one. And I'll go a little thicker on this one. And then we got this even smaller little bit to do. There we go. Okay. I think it's good. Let's turn off the templates. Okay. Now I'll do color overlay and what are we gonna do here this is gonna be I think color now I've got a couple of options here I could Uh, it doesn't help me at all. Okay, color is not the right one. Is it screen? Yeah, screen. Okay, so I'm thinking I could... Oh, uh, hi, Leighton Griffin. How are you doing? Um, I'm thinking I could just kind of do patterns like that. 
you know, overdrawing it and stuff. And so I think I might do that. So I'll do kind of a larger pattern. No, I don't like that one. Oh, you love the red. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just experimenting. You know, like I said, I want to make sure that I submit it, like, with good color. And I don't know if I want to keep the white or if I want to change that to a different color either. Yeah, but I was thinking, like... You know, I'm kind of falling. You know, these patterns that I made a little bit. So let's do, let's do an analogous color scheme. And so, uh, that's going to be kind of purple, orange, and red. So let me do some orange. Yeah, we'll just kind of spot the orange in a little bit. When I'm doing this on a separate layer, if I don't like it, I can always submit like a solid color. You think the orange is really bright? Um, well, I mean, the red's really bright too. Let's do this, and then we'll try purple. Yeah. Ugh. There's a delay right now with my tablet because the file's so big. Okay, and we'll do this. We'll make all this purple in here. And again, I'm kind of following the same rules that I kind of gave myself for the pattern a little bit. Also, if I come off uh, back seating when I say that stuff, I can take it down a notch. No, that's fine. Yeah, um, if I had done yellow, if I had gone in the other direction, then that would have brought down the tone of the red and it would have made it appear darker. 
Um, but I kind of want that orange to be the star. And so that's why I decided to put it in the middle of the analogous color scheme. And so analogous uh, color scheme means it is a color scheme on one side of the color wheel. And so it's usually uh, three touching colors. I say usually because sometimes you um, can have variations or uh, split analogous color schemes where you skip the color in the middle and you do the, the two on the side. And so with red being my primary, then I basically pick the, the two uh, secondary colors that are on either side of the red, and that's orange and purple. And so um, that is my decision making with this. Now, um, this is all one tone. Let's do, you're right, that red was really loud. So let's do a darker red. And then I think I'll do a darker purple, but I'll leave that orange. Yeah. So we'll do this. Kind of like this. Yeah, and so I'll, I'll put the darker purple in there. And then that way the purples aren't really touching each other. I don't mind if the reds are touching each other, but I'm, I don't know. It, it's, art's hard to explain sometimes. It looks like sherbet, like yogurt in a good way. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. To me, again, I'm, I'm just trying to go for something abstract. Uh, I think it'd be fun to apply to. Okay, so that's that red. I'm gonna do that, kind of in that corner. And then I'm gonna do this darker purple. Ooh, yes. And so I just, I don't know, I'm just trying to make something pretty. And I'll just kind of have this dark purple definitely filling in these black spaces still yeah but then I'm gonna have it like spot spot checked yeah I see there's like a little space right there You just got to make sure there's white between them. Um, I think above all the city wants appealing and abstract is probably a good way to go about it. Yeah. And um, again, you know, they have all these rules. It can't be offensive. It can't, um, you know, it, it can't uh, be uh what's oh what's the word uh appropriating of indigenous culture or other culture and um you know i, I understand the rules you know i i get it but that's why i think abstract is a safe bet so we'll do this we'll have these little spots. Oh, shoot. I forgot I have to make the colors match too. Okay, what can I do? 
I can I can erase this. Okay, and then what we're going to do, I'm going to add that inch back. Okay, it's got to think for a second. Howdy! Hi, Lies are Live! Uh, well, the rules are like negative scores right now, so if you're playing the zero-sum game, they are stumbling blocks to the objectives, so they're, uh, they are there to weed out the bad concepts. Um, okay, they're immediate disqualifiers. Congratulations, you've received 100 messages today with Restream Chat. Uh, okay. Thank you, Restream. I received 100 messages today. <laughs> okay, um... So I got that, and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, and we're going to go copy, paste, and I can do this. Oh, right. I'm going off the black, so I think that's it. Okay. So then, okay, let's fill in these black spaces. Yeah, I probably need to do this too. In that inch. There we go. That's where it's at. Okay. So this one is side copy uh, to match. And then this one is color side copy to match. All right. Let's try this again, shall we? Do I not have anything there? Okay. Let's do that. Okay. I'm just filling in all these little black spots with this purple. this Oops. And it's kind of cool because I'm doing two screen layers that actually lightens over so I know exactly when I've matched the color Let's 
see. Do that. There we go. Uh, it keeps doing it. Sometimes your cat avatar slowly looks up and I always think it's either having a eureka moment or seething in anger. <laughs> it's probably because I'm leaning so far down that the camera can't pick me up. I don't know. Or it's me looking up, you know, at like comments and stuff. Yeah, I just, I, I hadn't, you know, I hadn't had the cat avatar out in a while, so I, I'm, I'm cat avataring it. Okay, and then let's do that. And then light purple. There we go. And then we'll do that light purple. And then we will have our light red. Yeah, and we'll do light red down here. Any spots I missed? Yeah, I'm just doing little splotches of purple. Uh, nothing on the edge, though. Yeah. Ha, Cat Vatar, the legend of uh, Glitch. Let's see, sometimes your cat have, oh, Cat Vatar, the last milk vendor. <laughs> All right, I think that is going to be the first one. And so what I'll do is I will make a. extra inch folder and so this one and this one go in the extra inch folder and then um, yeah there we go okay 
So I can always turn off the extra inch. Right, but then that weight matches now. Yeah, I think it's gonna look pretty good. All right, so this is design one. Okay, now, what, what happened? Screen, screen, why is this, okay, interesting. It won't let me put it in a folder without uh, doing it, and I don't know why it won't do that. So we're going to delete this folder. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, design souls need to be submitted as a small JPEG or PNG for during. Um, High resolution file suitable for large format. PDF, TIFF, RAW, or vector format preferred. Um, I'll say PDF. Can I make PDFs with Clip Studio? Yeah, I can make a TIFF. Okay, we'll make a TIFF. I am able to merge layers. Uh, I could do that, but I want to be able to have access to it. So, um,. We're going to make a new folder. This is going to be Brighton Traffic Box. Or Alec Box. All right. There we go. And this one is going to be. We'll do that. Yeah, uh, TIFFs are a standard. That's one of the standards that they accept. I can't make a PDF in Clip Studio Paint. And I could have a raw file, but those are huge. So instead, it's PDF. If they want a vector format file later on, I can always bring this into Illustrator and this just retrace it. Um, but I haven't done that yet. So, yeah, so th that's what they want is a TIFF file. So I'm making a TIFF file. Here, let's see if we can reframe cat here. All right, and now I got to make a JPEG of the same thing. Is it again? Amber Greenlee Design. Okay, I'll do that. And then, yep. Save. Of more than 3,000 pixels in this format. Really? I can't? Okay, so then we will. Let's save it just to make sure I have it saved. All right, this one's going to be the template. Save. 
Oh, I was talking to Floza the other day and he was talking about tips. Uh, hey, I've got a question. Do you think it's good workflow to pencil, then scan, then reprint and ink scan again and color? Um, you know, it depends on what you're comfortable with. Uh, I found that, you know, I've, I've always like ink my own stuff. And so I have really loose pencils and stuff. But in college, you had to ink other people's work. And I found that I actually really enjoyed inking and uh, I learned to tighten up my own pencils for other people. Um, and there's a lot of different like aspect that you can do to it. But in order to show like difference in inking styles, uh, we would have to make blue line copies of our pages where we scanned in the pencils and then we printed out, uh, you know, in a light non repo blue on Bristol board. And then we would ink that. And that was my most favorite way of inking. It, it, it to, to this day, like, I, I loved it. It was clean. It was beautiful. You could see the work that needed to be done without the uh, graphite of the ink rejecting the ink. Or the graphite of the pencil rejecting the ink. Um, inking is counterintuitive to you. Hmm, how so? So we're going to change image resolution. We're going to go to pixels. It said I can't have what more than 3000 or 30,000. Okay. You feel like you're just going over the pencil with the darkest value. Uh, see, to me, I find pencil is just kind of roughing out the idea, and then ink is finalizing that idea. And so uh, my pencils are really rough. Like, I'm sure you've seen me draw Captain T, and you see, you know, I, I'm really, really loose in my early pencils. Come on. Just thinking. Okay, now that we are the right size, we're going to try and export it as a JPEG. All right. Boo, boo, boo. Come on. All right, there we go. JPEG. Save. Oh, that's cool. You like it? Yeah. That's my first design. Yeah, I like it. Do you think they'll like it? I hope so. Annabelle was in there. Oh, Kit Kat's outside. Kit Kat Cola. Okay. Rendering image, writing file. Back to history, change image resolution. So we go back to delete layer. Come on. Come on. Work with me here. Uh, let's see. There's so much shade in a pencil I can do, especially when I'm using multiple pencil types. Pencil to me is so beautiful. When I'm doing reference, I'm always using multiple pencil types, and I just love the subtle shading you can do. Well, um, I mean, you have to understand that uh, um, inking came out of necessity of the fact that early printing processes for comic books weren't able to render pencil very well. Um, not without it being very expensive. And so the inking made the lines clearer and then the, uh, the colors were, you know, added later. Um, and so now we have the ability to have beautifully shaded artwork and there's stuff like Blade of the Immortal that does that amazingly.
Um, when I'm doing reference, I'm always using multiple pencil types. I just love that subtle shading you can do. What? No, I'm okay. Thank you, though. All right. Let's see. Uh, oh, that's right. I don't know how long I've been going. Uh, oh, there it is. Two hours I've been drawing. Uh, when I'm doing reference, I'm always using multiple pencil types. Okay, let's see. Uh, interesting. Restream's not picking up your messages any anymore. But I still have them coming in from uh, chatting. That's weird. Oh, about the inking? Yeah, I mean, well, again, I got a freaking degree in it, so, um, yeah. Let's see, save. I forgot to remove that inch. Before I save my final versions. What is inking to me? Hmm. Let's see. Restream picking you up? Yeah, it's weird. It goes from when I'm doing reference, I'm always using multiple pencil types, and it jumps to what is inking to you. That's weird that the restream chat skipped you. Um, inking to me is, again, uh, for me, pencil is roughing out the idea and inking is finalizing that idea. And so whether that idea is a single line or a pattern or, you know, character face or whatever, um, a really good inker complements the artist. A bad inker, like, kind of destroys the art. And I don't remember his name, but there was a really famous guy uh, at Marvel for destroying artwork. And like Eric Larson hated to be inked by him. And um, yeah, and then there's people like like Scott Williams that has been working with Jim Lee for, gosh, what, 40 years now? And his work is, is it complements Jim Lee's work so well. Um, uh, 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 Jeff Campbell and Alex Garner also had a really good team together. But uh, Garner didn't like how late that Campbell was with his pages. And it put a lot of pressure on him. And so I know their last project together was Danger Girl. And the last issue was inked by Sandra Hope because of their falling out. Yeah, okay. All right. So I'm an idiot. Image resolution, is this the right image resolution? Yeah, this is the right image resolution. Okay. Um, so I'm an idiot. I got to remove this inch that I added. And then resave it all. Yeah, and again, I added that inch so that I could wrap it around. I'm going to have to add it again um, when I work on the next design. Come on. Okay, there. And then... So now we... Save it as a tip again. And luckily, I just do that, and it goes, oh, do you want to replace it? I'm like, oh, yeah, I absolutely want to replace it. And okay, we'll replace it. Come on. Are you sure you want this to look like the image? Yep, I want that to look like the image, all right. Uh, 
like my approach has been inking every line I make and I have no idea how to preserve the subtlety of something. Um, try this as an experiment. Try drawing without pencil. You know, I mean, do do plain air, you know, go out and, uh, you know, find a cool statue or a tree or something and just just sketch with a pen and you'll you'll begin to see how the pen works in comparison to the the pencil, you know, and it'll be frustrating at first because your lines don't go away. Right. Because pencil you can erase. But uh, then you'll learn to incorporate that. Um, even if I was working with old tech. Okay. All right. So we got that. I got to change the image resolution again and go pixels. This one's going to be 30,000. One, two, three. Yeah. Um, the sketchbook that I'm pulling these designs out of uh it's my it's my only pen sketchbook and so i'm doing like these designs these like abstract things and stuff without uh any reference or anything they're like right out of my head and um it like i said it's meditative just putting ink down on paper you now for you pencil might be your instrument it might just be what's best for you you know it might just be what what draws you uh to comics and stuff and you shouldn't you shouldn't feel like you're not doing it the right way because you may not be doing it the common way right there is no right way to make comics the best way to make comics is just to make them and so that means that if you want to draw in pencil draw in pencil you know don't let anyone stop you you know, me, myself, personally, I like the traditional look of clean ink lines. And I've been trying to replicate that with Captain T. Um, and the coloring I, is kind of like watercolor for Captain T. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Now we're going to undo that size. Come on. The cat is not in a very good filming position. Unless I like turn it that way and then we get cat girth with no head. Oh no. Oh, I think I think the program crashed. Up oh, there it is. It's back. Okay. Excellent. So, um save save save. Just make sure I don't ruin anything. All right. I'm going to take a quick five minute break and then I'm going to come back and do my second design. So I have a couple of options in here in my sketchbook. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Using the cat as a back rest, you can kind of see one of them. Hi. Okay. All right, we're going to take a quick five minute and then I will be right back. See you soon.
All right, I'm back. Here I am. So, okay, this is the first design. And uh, I think it turned out pretty well, but we got more to do. So, come on, there we are. This is um I don't need that anymore and then this is design one color overlay. Okay. Let's do design two. I thought about also turning one of these into a robot. I don't know. We're just kind of, we're having fun with it right now. So, using my cat as backdrop. I thought about this one. It's just a bunch of circles. There's this one, and Ian thinks I should do this one, which is like kind of like a, a fire-looking thing. And then um, I got this one too, which is goes back and forth. Um, between large and small circles. And so Ian likes the fire. I don't know. See, I thought I had it. I just lost it. <laughs> yeah. See this. Yes, my love. What can I help you with? Why are you trying to open that? You want to help Daddy with it? I don't know if Daddy needs it on his foot. Okay, we added a lot of Neosporin earlier. <laughs> You want help? Okay, let me open it. No. no? Daddy says no. Sorry, Daddy says no. 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 Sorry, Daddy says no. I'm listening to Daddy. Hey, don't throw a tantrum. Don't do it. Okay? We just don't want to waste it. No, Daddy says no. Don't throw stuff at me. Daddy says no. No need means no, baby. I'm sorry, but no means no. Don't throw stuff at me. I'm sorry. I'm not going to help you. All right. So... We're going to do just outline markers. I think we're also going to put on the grid. Ian, can you grab her, please?
let's do that above there. Okay, we're going to do kind of this organic shape here. Then okay, so that's gonna be like like this. Okay. Yes, my love. You help daddy? Excellent. Oops. Ah. Why am I having such a hard time with this line? Okay. There, much better. Okay. So I'm going to make one of these and then I'm going to copy it. Hi. Hello. I see you're making your stussies ease. Your stussy. My stussies? Your stussies ease. My stussies. Okay. Do this. Now I'm drawing these in to give them a hand-drawn quality so they don't look manufactured. Because like uh, Aston Martin, if you're still there, we were talking about you know inking. And so I'm applying the same concepts to as my little book to this, right? Only I have the benefit of undo, which I don't have in my little book. Gotcha. But drawing in ink is about boldness of line. Oops. Okay. Do I want to put circles in now? Yeah, let's do that.
Oh, that did not do what I thought it was going to do. Okay. Dot pen? pen yeah okay yes nice clean circle that's what I wanted fact do this instead Okay, it's not exact. All right. Let's do this. Copy the E. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so that. That should be about it. Okay. Let's do this one and then let us do it vertically. Okay. And then merge with the layer below. We take this, copy the T. go right. now before I go too far let's do this I have that same Millie pen Right. 
got to figure out if I really want it to wrap quite like that or if I want it to be... This is, this is looking good. Just not sure about it. And it just so it goes. Oh, wait. Yeah, I want it to go cleanly. So let's do this. Let's center it a little bit. And then we'll get rid of these two rows. Supply transformation. Uh, we'll get rid of these two rows. Okay, and delete, okay. So then that way they're not overlapping. All right, and then we're gonna copy the T. Okay, and now this goes over here. Okay, and now the T all we have to do is just kind of give the corner some room. Okay, I want to make sure I'm erasing the right one. Okay, so just these two? Yeah, that's pretty good. Do that, and we do that. Okay. is going to be merged with layer below. So that's all one side and then that's going to be copy V and T.
Now all this is gonna be merged into one. And then this, this, hey, I'm going to head out. I've been lurking for a bit, but it was good to be here. Oh, no worries, Aston Martin. Have a good time. I'll check out the picture on Instagram uh, when I get off. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to be working on these, these boxes pretty much tonight. Uh, join me tomorrow for Philo and, you know, interact and tell me what to draw. And, uh, you know, it'll be good. Uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Okay. So. I'm gonna figure out if I want to do a different color for the background All right so let's take off the grid and we'll turn off the templates because I know where my my corners are I'm thinking maybe Do this. Now I don't know if uh I should submit this one in black and white or not. So now let's do our marker and we'll do it on its own layer because I have a plan. Oh man. I should have done that in of these guys instead. This doesn't look good at all when you zoom in. Oh no, we're gonna have to do some cleanup. Gonna take forever to clean that up. Yeah, because this is at a hundred percent. Okay. You know what? I won't worry about it for now. Um, yeah, I won't worry about it for now. So this is part of my plan. So I'm just going to do these two on their own layer. And 
and copy and paste just like I did with the others. See, in my sketchbook, I had to draw all these circles. <laughs> now I'm just using technology to do it for me. Yeah. And that's uh, one joy of, of drawing in your sketchbook is it makes you appreciate the advancement in tools. Oops. Almost done. So now that is C, B, T. BT. Oh. And move. Okay, shift and then move. That's right. Okay. And we'll just do this. Yep. All right, wonderful. Okay, merge selective layers. And then copy the T. VT. All right. OK. 
again, I'm going to eliminate this row. So it's nice and clean. Okay, merge other both layers. No, I said move, merge selected layers. There we go. That's all my dots. Yes. Okay. Copy VT. Copy V. Design two, design two dots. I really do. I want to merge them. Okay, this one's gonna be. Square. Green and design to color overlay. Maybe it's not screen. Is it color burn? No. Just multiply?
Yeah, that's the one I was looking for. It's just overlay. Let's do another analogous color scheme. Let's see, what do I want my third color to be? I could go with yellow or like purple. Maybe an aqua. I wonder what an aqua would look like. Ooh, that's nice.
gosh, I hate those artifacts. Okay, I got an idea, but I'm going to finish this first. Oh, that should be overlay. Yes. meant to do these ones. My selective layers. And then that is an overlay. Yes. And then we can see our better. and then blue, green, and another aqua.
Okay, and then we're gonna do green. CVT Oh, no cat and cat cam. Cat cams have been abandoned. Do I want to keep these white or do I want to make them yellow, these dots? Let's try this. I will figure this out. Let's turn these ones off for now. And then these ones, let's do, um, do you want a bright yellow? Do I want an orangey yellow? No, I think I want a just a bright yellow, just like a pure yellow. Of course, I hit the wrong thing. I'm on the wrong layer for what I want to do. Cool. 
is going to take forever to do it this way, but, you know, it's going to take time. I think I'm going to leave the other ones white, though. Add some contrast. I just thought of like a way easier I could have done a uh, way easier way I could have done this. That I didn't. But we'll see if we can replicate that. only nope I'm just like all the yellow okay copy the T
Okay. to these design dots again. All right, it has to think. Has to think for a long time. get a gradient. Let's try this. Looks pretty good. Except for the it, you know, this stuff. Ugh, artifacts. Like, if you get all the way up to a hundred percent, it's like this little line. I don't know, maybe they'll enjoy it from a distance. I 
have an idea for the third one, but I think I'm going to do it tomorrow. Um, gosh, I've been going for over three hours. And so uh, I think I'm going to stop it there. So thank you, everyone, for joining me today. Uh, thank you. Oh, this is YouTube followers. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay, so when I changed it, oh, it's all tied in. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, let's change that right this instant. This is Twitch. Twitch followers. Okay, so thank you, Twitch followers, uh, that you see up on the screen here. Um... So I got these guys, I got these guys, I got these guys. The, these ones are going to be my uh, YouTube followers when I fix it. Um, oh no, it ruined it. Oh no, I lost one of my, oh, oh, when I did it earlier, oh, I got rid of the whole row. Oh no, because it's tied in. Oh, because it's duplicate. Oh, oh no. Going to have to go through and find out, uh, find these names again. Okay. Oh, I screwed up my credits. Um, anyway, I will see you guys in the future. Have a good one. Um, thank you, Twitch uh, patrons, and check out my comic and check out my website. And yeah, I'll see you.